this popular roles game might get deleted, popular roles YouTubers are getting banned off YouTube, and so much more insane news and drama today. But before, we're trying to reach 4,000 subs by the end of the year, so please subscribe and let's get right into it. Alright, first data store something new Roblox announced that could potentially be really bad for the platform. So the other day, Roblox announced that they bought a new company, the company being Speechly. And what Speechly is, is a company that has like AI recognition for like speech and stuff, and it can recognize speech from any language, and it's like apparently a very well-trained like recognition system. And while obviously this sounds like fine for the most part, like they're obviously going to use this for voice chat in some way. But here's the thing, on the surface, like I said, this seems like a pretty mild thing, it doesn't seem that bad. But the thing is like now Roblox is depending on AI for their voice chat moderation Which I feel like is just gonna lead to more and more false bans because the AI detection system probably is gonna be fine Like it'll probably work for the most part, but there definitely will be some stuff that they just get wrong There's no way it's gonna be 100% accurate all the time So there's gonna be way more false bans now for voice chat, which the thing is this has already been going on Like voice chat moderation right now is pretty awful Like I've seen so much false bans for voice chat in the past few months and now it's gonna get even worse on top of all of that because now the voice chat bands are going to be all like based off AI recognition, which like I said, could get a bit weird because like some words can sound different to AI and AI can interpret something that's not bad at all as something that's really bad and then get someone banned for no reason. On the bright side though, this update could bring voice chat to more people. Like Asimo said here that if this update works well, it can potentially bring voice chat to like under, under 13 accounts because maybe it can like block out the swearing or stuff. But I mean, yeah, from the first impression, it seems like a bad idea because Roblox is already bad in moderation on top of AI moderation it seems like a horrible idea. Anyway, let's move to the next story. Roblox actually having a huge problem on the platform. So the other day, Hazard put out a tweet, kind of going over and explaining why he's super frustrated with the platform. And he had a big issue going around. He was speaking about how like Roblox doesn't really do a good job of protecting people's assets. And if Hazard himself wanted to protect his own assets, he explained how the DMC system is like pretty horrible and doesn't work that well. And the catalyst for him speaking out was because a game recently called like Please Zone It by Infinite or whatever was getting like a lot of traction. It went kind of very popular in like the Roblox space. It was getting like 10,000 of players, millions of like people playing it. And it was completely ripped from Play Zone and all the assets and stuff. And the game was getting so much players and probably making a bunch of money from this. And the only reason the game can continue to do so good is because Roblox kept promoting it. They kept promoting it and recommending it to people and kept pushing it in like the search or whatever. So the game continues to do well. And that's obviously why I was upset. This game literally stole Please Donate and it's getting so much numbers and doing so well from literally just stealing Please Donate. Which I mean, yeah, it's a pretty big issue going around. Like obviously copy games exist and that happens all the time. But it's a bigger issue when copy games exist and they get promoted because then it encourages more people to do it and it also gives the creator like a bunch of recognition and money. And in general, like I said, it's a huge issue for all the Roblox. This happens to so much other Roblox games and so much other developers. And it's been happening to Please Zone for a while now, actually. And I feel like Please Zone is like one of the games that most people try copying simply because like you can make the most Roblox from it. So I many yeah, Hazem was really mad in this post. At the end of it, he literally said that he was so upset, he wants to like leave Roblox. It makes him want to feel like he wants to leave Roblox. I don't think he obviously will leave Roblox, but it kind of just shows how frustrated he was to even say that in the first place. But anyways, we're doing next wave of Roblox YouTuber getting banned of the big clown show. For the sake of the video, I'm just gonna call her clown because it's fitting as well. So Cloud is probably one of the most controversial Roblox YouTubers out there. I feel like they're always involved in drama. And the reason for this being because they were a pretty popular channel. They had like almost 7 million subscribers. And what they would do was they would post like Roblox shorts. And for the most part, I think the shorts were fine. But besides that, the main problem people had with Clown was that what she was doing in the shorts was literally scamming her own audience. She would always link to like a fake Robux giveaway and like a fake Robux like site or whatever. And she would have this in every single one of her videos and like a pinned comment. And she would always tell people like you can win robux by doing this but it's all a big lie and all a big scam and this is why people obviously had a problem with this because she had such a huge audience and probably a bunch of kids watching this content that fall for stuff like this and she just keeps scamming them and like reusing them for this type of stuff so she was a very controversial creator even though she was massive a lot of people hated on her and, and there's a lot of drama and stuff in the community around her. And well, today or just recently, her channel actually got deleted and taken down off YouTube. If you go to her channel right now, it says this. This account has been terminated due to multiple or severe violations of YouTube policies against spam, deceptive practices, and misleading content, or other terms of service violations. So I mean, yeah, I'm assuming it's for the, all the scams that she did. Which I mean, well, like, she kind of deserved it. She kept doing the scams after people called her out, and now she got banned for it. So I mean, like, whose fault really is it? I am pretty surprised she got banned though because like even though what she was doing was bad there's so much other scammer and like scam dolls out there that never get banned and stay up for like years so i'm surprised that clown got banned for all this 
I assume with all the drama surrounding her and how big of a name she is, people probably like mass support her or something. Because like usually scams kind of go under the radar on YouTube. But anyways, into her last story, which is insane, and there's a couple layers to this. Okay, just to recap, a few days ago, a popular creator by the name of GameTunes got a copyright strike from the person who made Skibbity Toilet. And the person behind Skibbity Toilet took down all their YouTube videos that had the Skibbity Toilet in it. And if you guys don't know, strikes on YouTube are very dangerous because if you get three, your channel is deleted. So the situation caused everyone to panic and freak out because so much creators have used the Skibbity Toilet asset in some way, whether that be in their thumbnail or whatever. And it caused a lot of confusion and drama in the community because while many people are wondering in the first place, like, why would he even do this? But secondly, many people are wondering, like, what content is fine to upload around it. And also, obviously, a lot of people are getting mad at Skibbity Toilet because, like, a lot of people think that he doesn't even own the assets. But anyways, with that being said, most people in the Rolls community said that they should be okay. And I think Nightfox said he's close to the situation. And he said YouTubers like Greek and stuff and him and like should be okay. And for the most part, all the popular YouTubers and big names were fine. They didn't run into any issues. But then a few days later, this happened. Very popular YouTuber Talanthric made a video showing that he got two strikes from the creator of Skibbity Toilet. And this one was a bit different because Talanthric actually has a very, very popular Rolex game called Toilet Defense Simulator, which at the time of recording this has 130,000 active and 474 million overall visits. So the game is massive. And I mean, it does kind of use like the Skibbity Toilet, not really assets, but idea. Because I'm pretty sure the characters have like a toilet and stuff or their model after something else. So they're kind of inspired from it, but they're not directly ripping the assets. And while a lot of people got concerned for Talanthric because two strikes is very dangerous. And as I just said, if you get three, your channel is taken down. And well, unfortunately, later, Talanthric followed up by saying that he got his third and final strike, which is pretty insane. But here's the thing, Talanthric's channel is still up and I'm assuming that it might get taken down or deleted soon or eventually, or maybe he's hopefully sorting it out in the background. But the reason for all these strikes came from the Roblox game because he has this very popular Rolex game up. And while Roblox strikes, as we learned from the present situation, take a few months to process, so potentially this Rolex game might get taken down and deleted because of the strikes. Because since he's targeting Talanthric over the game, I'm assuming he also probably went for the game as well. So this game could get taken down very soon. And I think he's able to strike down Talanthric because he makes videos on the game or something. It's pretty weird and confusing how it works. Now also apparently, like, the person behind Skibbity Toilet was trying to reach out to people to like resolve the situation but then he just kept deleting messages and stuff so this whole situation was very weird and very confusing i've also seen a lot of people saying that the strikes could potentially be fake but like apparently the strikes are real he has striked people before as we've seen but like who he strikes and who he doesn't strike is very very weird also though like people mentioned since he's striking down people who use it in like Roblox games and stuff, could pets him with Rex be in trouble? Because if you guys remember a while ago, they made like that weird toilet pet thing, which I mean, technically, I guess is on the same level as the other strike. So pets and Rex could be in trouble too. Hopefully though, behind the scenes, they're able to resolve and like fix this issue. But yeah, insane situation. And if you enjoyed, check out this video where I covered the first part of all this drama. And I'll see you in the next one.